Hi, in this video you will learn a super cool PowerPoint effect in less than 10 seconds. Yes, you can create this effect in less than 10 seconds and it will make a lasting impact on your audience. I am Ram Gopal from PrezoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The effect you will learn today is the Sheen effect. Can you see how a plain looking list like this is instantly taken to the next level by adding a simple sheen on top of it. The sheen makes a simple 2D looking list into a shiny 3D looking object. Let me show you some example templates taken from our complete trainers bundle where we have used the concept of sheen. First, take a look at this simple three-sided puzzle where I have added the sheen to make this triangular puzzle come to life. Take a look at this beautiful sheen effect that makes this 3D effect come to life even better. Take a look at this circular flow diagram where each of these graphic elements are brought to life with this sheen effect. And finally, take a look at this beautiful wheel diagram which is made to look like a 3D sphere by the addition of the sheen. Yes, a simple sheen can make a boring 2D looking graphic into a 3D looking graphic, a boring rectangle into a shiny button. Let me show you how to create this sheen effect from scratch. It's a very, very simple technique to learn. I'm going to convert this particular rectangle into a shiny button by adding a sheen. Let us go to a new slide. Let us create a simple shape. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu and pick up a rectangle tool. I'm going to remove the outline and I'm going to give it a slightly a darker color, maybe something like this orange color. I can add some gradient to give a 3D depth. So let us go to shape fill, go to gradient and maybe I can use something like this which is called as linear up. By adding this gradient automatically I am adding that 3D perspective to the shape. Now when I add some sheen then this rectangular bar will be taken to the next level. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu. Let us pick up the rectangle tool once again and we are going to draw the same rectangular shape right on top of the previous one. But the only difference is we are going to give a slight gap between the edge and the shape that we are creating. So that is the first one and we are going to do that in all the other sides as well. The next thing I'm going to do is something I want you to notice very carefully. I'm going to add a gradient to make this rectangular bar appear like sheen on this particular shape. So I'm going to right click, go to format shape, go to gradient fill option under fill. And here I have so many different stops. I just need three stops. So I'm going to go to the second stop and keep it somewhere in the middle. And I'm going to remove the extra stop by just clicking and dragging it out. So now we have three stops. The first stop which is which represents this which is the top portion here is going to be in white color the second stop is also going to be in white color but this time we are going to add some transparency maybe somewhere around 35 36 percent and the final one is also going to be in white and we are going to add a transparency of 100 percent now it depends the kind of gradient that you apply depends on the kind of shape the size and everything in this case it looks like this sheen is a little too bright so if i want to make the sheen slightly lighter all i need to do is to play with the transparencies so i have got the second stop here and maybe i can add a little more transparency to it and the first one can also have a slight element of transparency like the way that we see here and there it is now this particular shape looks like a 3D one because we have a sheen on top and we have a gradient that uh, goes from dark to light and that makes this a 3D shiny button. Now the best part about this is if I want to apply the same effect to some other shape say let us go to oval tool from basic shapes and I'm going to draw a perfect circle by holding the shift button here. I'm going to remove the shape outline and let us do something very similar to the one that we had done earlier. I'm going to give it a red color and I'm going to add gradient like the way that I had done earlier, linear up. Now I'm going to add uh, some kind of a sheen to this one. So let us go here and I'm going to pick up another oval tool and I'm going to draw 
a similar shape to the original shape like the way that here I have done um, a rectangular shape here I'm going to do an oval shape here so that is all there is and I have left a gap between the top edge and the sheen and here since I've already done all the hard work for this one I just can pick the effect from this and apply it onto this one so I'm going to select this go to format painter in home tab of PowerPoint ribbon and then click on this sheen and instantly the same effect has been applied onto this one as well. So instantly this becomes a 3D object. So that is how you add sheen. There are some times that you might actually want to um, make the sheen look a little more designer like. So the way that we do it in that case is I select this, I increase the size of the sheen all the way till the bottom. I right click, go to edit points and you can see that there is this uh, black square and this is one of the points um, that makes this particular shape. I'm going to right click on this and say delete point. Now we have a triangle. Now I can click on this particular black square and I can move this handle slightly to add some kind of a designer shape here. Now this is another way in which I can make the sheen appear. Now I can always change the direction of the sheen. I can go to the direction here and I can go to the angle and I can change the angle like the way that I want here. I can play with the various angles to make the sheen appear the way that I want. So those are all the various ways in which you can make a 2D shape appear like a 3D shape in just a matter of a click. And the best part is you create some of these sheens in different ways and keep them as one of the slide libraries. And whenever you want to apply a sheen, all you need to do is to pick that up, apply Format Painter, and then click on the target object and the sheen will be ready. So it is that easy to apply sheen to your objects. I hope you liked the simple trick that I taught you in this video. There are tons more in Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. If you're a trainer or a course creator, and you want to take your boring training slides to the next level and make them interesting and engaging for your audience, then I highly recommend you take a look at our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program is arguably the most comprehensive PowerPoint training online. No other book or course, either online or offline, teaches you the kind of advanced tips tricks and techniques that I teach you in Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. You can always know more about the program by clicking on the button here. I'll also leave a link to the program in the description area below this video. And just before we close this video, one more thing. Do you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting even if your topic is dry and boring? Then please click on the button here and sign up for a fun 7-day email course. It's a totally free course. And if you're a trainer or a course creator, it is an email course you can't afford to miss. I'll see you on the inside.